Hello there. Welcome to Backyard Gardening. I'm Tony. I got a barrel here of 30 gallons. I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this thing in half and prepare it for to plant like those barrels here that we have with the garlic in them. I have one also cut long ways like a bathtub and I'm going to plant strawberries in that one. So uh, we can get started here with this barrel. I'll go through all the details with you. Okay, these are the tools and the items that we're going to need here to do this barrel cut it in half. We have our weed barrier cloth here, the drill with the 5 16 to make the holes on the bottom for drainage of the barrel. We have scissors to cut, our tool here to saw to cut the barrel with. We have our markers, and we have a ruler, and we have a tape measure. In the barrel, it's going to be have lava rock and some potting soil as well to be put in there to get ready to plant with. So let's go ahead and clear off this table and then we can get started marking this barrel and cut it. Okay, I measured this barrel earlier and it's like 28 and a half. So to get the 28 and a half, I went down to 14 and a quarter to make my half mark over here of the barrel to be cut. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and start marking these at 14 and a quarter and hopefully we'll have a nice round cut and even cut throughout the barrel. And if it's not perfectly where it's supposed to be, it's okay, it's for the garden. So I have some of these already marked from earlier, doing my test run. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mark these out, finishing them off. At 14 and a quarter. Let me see where we're at here again. We make some of these marks look like they're, oh, they're close enough. 14 and a quarter. That one's 14 and 3 eighths. So we're going to come back down a little bit on that one. Alrighty, so now we're going to take our ruler and we're going to connect all these dots. I usually have a rubber band. I like taking a large rubber band and putting them on here and you line up the rubber band with all your dots, but I couldn't find my rubber band this time around. So we're just going to go ahead and just wing this with the ruler. Just to give us a guideline, so when we cut this thing, it don't look too bad, too crooked. Try to straight as, keep it straight as possible. It turned out to be a nice day at the airport. It's got a lot of planes flying out there. We had rain yesterday, and today is a beautiful day. It's sunny, and it's 62 degrees out here. So we do have our activity, the planes, because we live near an airport. So that's what you're hearing in the background. Okay, we got our marks. Now we go ahead and close this thing up and uh, see if we can get our saw plugged in. And then we'll go from there to the next step. Okay, we're getting ready to cut this barrel in half. This is the saw that we're gonna use. I do need to make an adjustment on the saw. 
you always want to make sure they're unplugged before you make your adjustments to any tools and stuff so you don't lose a finger or hurt yourself. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this blade because we got the full extension of the blade. We don't need it. We're only cutting through the barrel. So I'm going to go ahead and make the adjustment. I'm going to do about maybe a quarter of the blade. And that should be enough to cut this thing. So now we've got it down more shallow, about a quarter. So I'll go ahead and plug it back in and we'll get started. Okay, what I'm doing here is scraping this off because I noticed we have burrs on it when I cut it into two barrels and a half. And so we're just going to go ahead and take this little knife I have right here. It's a scraper. And just scrape off most of this stuff here so we can go ahead and go to the next step. Okay, now we got our holes drilled, and the reason why I've drilled them about an inch and a half from the bottom, this is going to react like a drip pan. It's going to collect your water, and it's going to have moisture of water in the bottom. As you water, the overflow is going to come out through here, these holes that we put in here. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our lava rock and our weed barrier. Okay, now we're going to put the lava rock in here on the bottom for drainage. And all we're doing is just basically covering up the bottom of this. You don't want it too thick. You know, about an inch thick is fine. Just to keep the water in there and allow the water to drain through the holes that we've already pre-drilled. So the next thing we're going to do is put in the weed barrier so we can put our soil in. I've already cut this weed barrier to fit in here. And it might have a little bit more excess, but we can always cut it off. So what this weed barrier does is just going to be in here to keep the dirt from getting tangled in with the lava rock and then it won't allow the drainage. So just put it in there and then the dirt's going to go right over the top of this and we'll be fine. Okay, let me grab some dirt. Use this potting mix here. We'll put that in there, and then we'll put some manure in there as well. Have this thing ready for planting. Pack it down a little bit. Now 
Now we're ready for some manure to mix in here with this. About a shovel full would be enough. Mix it up a little bit. Now we'll add some more soil in here. down a little bit. Okay, our barrel is done. Our soil is in here. Our lava rock's in here. The weed barrier is in here as well. And um, the reason why I drilled those holes on the bottom up about an inch and a half away from the bottom is to act like a drip tray. It'll hold on to some water in there and the excess water will drain out. And then uh, it'll just keep the ground moist for you until the next watering. So thank you for watching backyard gardening and be sure to check out the other videos we have and thanks again for watching